I, I suppose in any leadership role, you have to be really confident about who you are as a person, and um, and who you are as a person comes about from your life experiences, um, uh, the whānau you were brought up, you know, the environment you were brought up in, who your whānau are, um, the schools you went to, uh, the interactions you've had with people in, in the workplace since you've uh, left school, and all those things put together, um, for, you come out at the other end being who you are. I'd give to um, anybody who's looking at a leadership role is that you can't do the whole job yourself and that you, you need others to help you achieve the vision that you, you're aiming for or the goals that you're setting. So um, trying to go it alone doesn't work. So to um, have people help you, you have to build good, good relationships with them to make sure that um, they're on the same walker as you and that you're all heading in the same direction. It, it means that you have to have good relationships with people. Um, there's other areas where relationships are really important. As, as an institution, you um, have to deal with lots of stake, different stakeholders, such as the ministry and schools, um, uh, whānau, uh, outside providers, and um, none of those relationships uh, can help you move forward as an institution if they're not very good so building good relationships with all your stakeholders is really really important and how you do that you've actually got to put the time in you've got to talk to people um, you, you can't just ignore relationships because if you do ignore them then when it comes time to call upon them to help then they may not be there so you've got to nurture them yeah self-discipline is really important i probably learned self-discipline from uh, the sport that I played when I was young and I, I was lucky enough to play rep sport um, in tennis, hockey, rugby. So um, the, the discipline that comes with being part of the team is, was um, really important. So, um, but uh, the discipline isn't, isn't enough. You know, you have to develop a good work ethic along with it and so that you can role model um, to others what you expect of them. You can't ask people to do things that you aren't able to or willing to do yourself. Um, uh, generally, there are exceptions to that. Sometimes when you build a good team, you know if you know your own, um, the gaps in your own uh, abilities, then you can build a team around you that can help you support you in, in those areas. So, and that's important as well, is that you can recognise um, where you do need help and then you can fill those gaps by building the team around you. There are some things that can't be compromised on though, and uh, especially in the classroom, academic excellence, everybody should be aiming for that. And so we work continually to um, getting academic excellence, for, especially for our Māori boys. But also you have to realise that teachers are going to be on any range within the continuum. You're going to have your experts who are going to be achieving um, in the classroom and doing the best with their kids and they've got everything going for them. They know how to form good relationships, they know how to engage the students by being responsive to uh, their needs um, and you've got teachers who do that really well and you've got others who are just learning and need coaching along the way so um, you have to accept that that's what, it, what your school is going to be like. You're not going to have everybody performing at the highest degree. Um, but Alongside that, you have to have programs in place to actually nurture those um, teachers who uh, are at the beginning of their career or need help in developing their teaching ability. You have to have programs in place to actually make sure that that happens. I still play hockey um, in the senior men's grade, um, and every week I, I'm bloody sore <laughs> after playing. But uh, I, I play tennis. Um, into club tennis uh, during the summer. Um, I have entered the last couple of Iron Māori, but I, I don't think I'll be doing it this year. Uh, it's part of um, making myself get out and train. Um, I do a lot of uh, um, hunting uh, out, in the, uh, out in the bush, so I, I do uh, when I can. The, the job here doesn't allow so much for that. Um, uh, I'm a 
keen uh, fisherman and diver, so I, I, I get outdoors as much as I can.